Hi guys! So in this video, we are going to solve different problems involving basic differentiation rules. Okay, so let's get started. Number one. Find the derivative of y equals square root of 4 over x minus square root of 3x. So, kung titignan mo yung function, mukhang complicated, right? So, pero pwede natin siyang isimplify muna. Before, kunin natin yung derivative. So, this can be written as y equals, we know that the square root of 4 is 2. So, 2 over square root of x minus, then i-decompose natin yung square root of 3x as square root of 3 times square root of x. Okay, so therefore, this becomes 2 over x raised to 1 half using the principle of fractional exponent minus square root of 3, then x raised to 1 half. Okay, then using negative exponent, x raised to 1 half will be, bring out, uh, will be brought out to the numerator. So, mag-change ang sign. It becomes negative. So, we have 2 x raised to negative 1 half minus square root of 3 x raised to 1 half. So, pagdating dito, pwede na tayong mag-differentiate. Okay. So, therefore, we have y prime equals negative 1 half times 2. So, copy natin negative 1 half times 2 then x negative 1 half minus 1 minus then I bring down 1 half so we have 1 half times square root of 3 then x 1 half minus 1 so we have y prime equals negative 1 half times 2 so this will be cancelled we have negative 1. So, negative na lang. Then, x, negative 1 half minus 1 is equal to negative 3, 2. Negative 3 over 2 minus square root of 3 times 1 is square root of 3 over 2. x, 1 half minus 1 is equal to negative 1 half. Okay. And then, we have y prime is equal to this becomes negative 1 over x raised to positive 3 over 2. So, negative exponent, dadali natin sa denominator, then change the sign of the exponent. Then, also, this the second term becomes square root of 3 over 2x raised to 1 half. So, then, let's transform the fractional exponent to radical. And this is equal to negative 1 over x raised to 3, 2 becomes square root of x cubed minus square root of 3 over 2 square root of x. So, x raised to 1 half is square root of x. Then, we have y prime equals negative 1 over x cubed is equal to x squared times x, right? x squared times x and we know that the square root of x squared is x so dalabas natin sa square root so x is square root of x minus square root of 3 over 2 times square root of x okay and then we have to combine similar terms so we have y prime or rather we have to combine these two terms so we have to find the LCD okay so the LCD will be 2 times x times square root of x. So, 2x is square root of x. So, 2x square root of x divided by x square root of x is 2 times negative 1, negative 2. Minus, then, 2x square root of x divided by 2 square root of x. So, 2 square root of x will be cancelled. Natira yung x. Then, x times square root of 3 is square root of 3x. So, nasa labas ang radical yung x. Okay. So, yan na yung ating answer. Pero minsan, kailangan natin siyang uh, isimplify pa. Kung gusto natin tanggalin yung radical, okay lang. So, pag gusto nang tanggalin yung radical sa denominator, i-multiply both sides by, uh, rather, both numerator and denominator by square root of 6. But, I think this is already acceptable. Pero, sa 
uh, sa mga examination, minsan hindi mo makikita directly itong ganitong answer kasi sinisimplify pa yung sign. So as you can see, the numerator minus minus. So pwede natin siyang i-middle. Meaning, yan yung magiging sign ng buong rational function. Ng buong function. So minus, then negative 2 divided negative is positive na siya. 2, then negative divided negative. So plus square root of 3 x all over 2 x square root of x. Okay, so yan yung derivative ng given a function. y prime equals negative 2 plus square root of 3 x over 2 x square root of x. Okay, second example, we have y equals quantity x squared plus 5 times quantity x cubed minus 7. So we have two factors here. Therefore, we are going to use the product rule. And we know that the product rule is uv prime derivative of u times v is equal to u prime times b plus u times b prime. Or, pwede magbaliktad. Pwede uv prime plus u prime b. Okay? Because addition is commutative. So, in this uh, function, we can say that this is u and this is b. Okay? So, let's just apply the product rule. We have y prime is equal to u prime. So, what's the derivative of x squared plus 5? So, derivative of x squared is 2x, then derivative of 5, 0. Times v, yung middle, ay, rather, yung second factor, x cubed minus 7. So, x cubed minus 7 plus, we have u, copy yung x squared plus 5 times derivative ng x cubed minus 7. So, derivative ng x cubed is 3x squared and derivative of negative 7, 0. Okay, so simplify. We have y prime equals distribute 2x times x cubed is 2x to the fourth. Then 2x times negative 7 is negative 14x. Then plus x squared times 3x squared is 3x to the fourth. Then 5 times 3x squared is 15 x squared. And then, combine similar terms, we have y prime equals 2x to the 4th plus 3x to the 4th, 5x to the 4th, then copy yung 15x squared, so plus 15x squared, then minus 14x. Okay? So therefore, the derivative of the given function is 5x to the 4th plus 15x squared minus 14x. Okay? So, how about the third one? We have y equals x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 1. So, we have a rational function. So, we are going to use the quotient rule. And we know that the quotient rule is uh, given by the derivative of u over v is equal to v times derivative of u prime rather the times u prime minus u times derivative of b, b prime, all over the square of b. Okay? u is the numerator and b is the denominator. So, we are going to use this to find the derivative of this function. So, we have y equals v, so x squared minus 1, times u, u prime. What is the derivative of x squared plus 1? That is 2x. Then, minus copy yung numerator, x squared plus 1, times v prime. Derivative of x squared minus 1 is also 2x. All over, oh, sorry. All over the square of denominator, x squared minus 1. So, simplify. So, you put y prime here. y prime equals x squared times 2x is 2x cubed. Then, x uh, 2x times negative 1 is negative 2x. Then, 2x times x squared is 2x cubed times negative. So, negative 2x cubed. Then, 2x times 1 is 2x times negative, negative 2x. All over 
x squared minus 1 squared. So therefore, y prime equals 2x cubed minus 2x cubed is 0. The negative 2x minus 2x is negative 4x all over x squared minus 1 squared. So this is the derivative of the given function. Okay, so let's have the last one. How about this? y equals uh, quantity 1 plus square root of x times quantity 2 plus square root of x over x. So as you can see, we have rational here. So ang attempt mo agad kasi dyan is using the quotient rule. Pero mas mas simplify yan. Mas masisimplify ang solution kung hindi na natin gagamitin ang quotient rule. Kasi ang nasa denominator ay monomial. Single term expression. So, pwede siya nating dalhin sa taas, then gagawin lang nating negative 1 ang exponent. Okay? And then, masisimplify muna natin bago natin kunin ang derivative. Ito, magiging ganito lang siya. y equals, so x becomes x to the negative 1 times, copy yung 1, then gawin nating fractional exponent muna. Then, square root of x becomes x raised to 1 half times 2 plus x raised to 1 half. Okay. Then, we have y equals, distribute natin to, itong x to the negative 1 dito sa first factor. Yung 1 plus x to the 1 half. Okay. So, x to the negative 1 times 1 is x to the negative 1 plus x raised to 1 half times x raised to the negative 1. So, same base. What we are going to do is you just add the exponent. Copy the base. Negative 1 plus 1 half is negative 1 half. Okay? Times 2 plus x raised to 1 half. So, pagdating dito, i-distribute na lang natin. Muna, simplify. Multiplying using the FOIL method. So, hindi pa pala derivative siya. So, y equals first term. So, tanggalin natin yung ano. Okay, first term is x to the negative 1 times 2. And that is 2x to the negative 1. Then, outer. x to the negative 1 times x to the 1 half. So, copy yung x. Negative 1 plus 1 half is negative 1 half. Then, inner. x to the negative 1 half times 2 is 2x to the negative 1 half. Then, last term plus x to the negative 1 half plus x to the 1 half. So, add negative 1 half plus 1 half, 0. So, x to the 0. Then, let's simplify. y equals 2x to the negative 1 plus these two terms are similar terms because we have x to the negative 1 half and x to the negative 1 half. So, ang gagawin lang, i-add lang natin yung coefficient. Ang coefficient nito ay 1 plus 2, so 3 x to the negative 1 half, then, ang x to 0 is 1. Okay, so pagdating dito, pwede na natin kunin yung derivative. So, we have y prime equals negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 x, the negative 1 minus 1, negative 2. Then, negative 1 half times 3 is negative 3 over 2 x negative 1 half minus 1 is negative 3 over 2. Then, derivative of 1 is 0. Okay. And then, gamitin natin yung fraction, uh, negative exponent. So, y prime equals negative 2 over x squared. Because negative yung exponent, pag dinila sa denominator, magpa-positive. Then, minus 3 over 2 x raised to positive 3 over 2. Okay. So, and then, gawin natin tong radical. Kasi ang given may radical. So, ganun lang yung process. So, we have y prime equals negative 2 over x squared minus 3 over 2 square root of x cubed. So, simplify natin yung square root of x cubed katulad sa kanina. Negative 2 over x squared minus 3 over x cubed is x squared times x. So, square root ng x squared is x. 
So, x times 2, 2x times square root of x. Okay? And then, i-combine natin yung, same, yung fraction. So, y prime equals, ang LCD natin dyan ay 2x squared square root of x. Kasi we have 2 here. Then, the uh, larger factor is x squared compared to x. Then, we have square root of x. So, 2x squared divided by the square root of x is 2 square root of x times 2 is negative 4 square root of x minus 2x squared divided at uh, square root of x divided by 2x square root of x. So, ang matitira lang ay x times 3 negative 3x. So, yan na. Negative 4 square root of x minus 3x over 2x squared square root of x. So, yung sabi ko kanina, pwede siyang isimplify kung tatanggalin natin yung radical. So, dito ipapakita ko para maging familiar kayo. So, kasi may radical sa denominator, so para matanggal yan, i-multiply natin yung numerator and denominator dun sa radical na nasa na, denominator. So, yun ay square root of 3x, sorry, times square root of x. Okay? And that is equal to negative 4 square root of x times square root of x. So, makakancel ang square root, matitrace x times negative 4. So, negative 4x. Then, negative 3x times square root of x. So, copy lang yan. Negative 3x square root of x all over. So, square root of x times square root of x is x times 2x squared. That is 2x cubed. So, ayan. Negative 4x minus 3x square root of x over 2x cubed. So, kung gusto rin na rin gawin yung kanina, so, dito ko nilalagay siya sa taas. Pwede siyang maging y prime equals, igigit na lang natin yung negative. So, minus, magiging 4x, negative, divide negative. So, magiging plus 3x square root of x all over 2x cubed. Okay? So, ganyan yung pagkuha ng derivative.